residents of Cowpen Road and Kinnikinnick will be seeing much needed relief after flooding from New Year's Day left roads in dire repair. On May 10th, Coal Run Mayor Andrew H. Scott revealed that beginning next week, May 16th, the city would begin the first phase of repairs. Thursday, Mountaintop spoke with Mayor Scott to learn more. I don't think there's any area of Coal Run that was not affected or damaged in some way, shape, or form. Thankfully, thankfully we didn't have any loss of life. We didn't have an extreme amount of property damage, but our city infrastructure, particularly our roads, were devastated. We've got a lot of road embankment failures. Um, we've got a lot of culverts that need replacing. Um, there's a lot of areas that need to be paved um, where you've got uh, water overtopping the road, which sometimes peels away the asphalt. And so there's quite a bit of work ahead of us. With the opening of asphalt plants, contractors will begin phase one of repairs. Repairs to Kinnikinnick include collapsed drains to be replaced and new asphalt to be laid. For the right fork of Cowpen, repairs include new asphalt and bake and road stabilization. In regards to the main fork of Cowpen, Mayor Scott says they're not authorized to repair that section as it is a state road. So what we've got in phase one, which is going to be quickly followed by phases two, three, four, and five, but phase one is going to be mainly dealing with Kinnikinnick and, and the right fork of Cowpen. The main fork of Cowpen is really bad too. However, that is a state road and the city cannot work on a state road. We've reached out to the highway department. Um, we hope to hear from them soon. We've let them know multiple times. We are Pikeville Medical Center and we are an amazing place to work. Healthcare heroes of all types work here, all who deserve great rewards. So while our heroes are working hard to take care of our patients and visitors, we are taking care of them with top tier benefits, higher pay rates, and great sign-on bonuses. So join our team today. So what are you waiting for? Apply today. Incredible opportunities await at pmcjobs.org. And while the city continues to work with the state for repairs, Mayor Scott says they are seeking disaster declaration funds from Kentucky Emergency Management and FEMA for financial assistance. You know, there's going to be culvert replacements. There are things what we're asking for. There's other things too that's important to understand here because you've got you've got the assistance that's coming from the federal government whenever that comes, but you've also got hazard, hazard mitigation projects. Haynes Village is going to be a huge one of those. You know, the city of Colorado is blessed in that we're in the position to be able to pay forward these expenses and then look to FEMA. You know, what worries me, you know, the length of time that sometimes it takes to get FEMA um, requests approved is that there's other cities that probably have just as much if not more damage than the city of Colorado that are that are going to have to wait. Um, so we're going to do as much as we can right now and then uh, hope to get hope to get everything you know back up to shape um, beginning Monday um, and then you know we're going to try to get to every area that was damaged and have it re repaired by the end of the summer. Repairs to Kinnikinnick are expected to begin May 16th or 17th with repairs to the right fork of Cowpen expected to begin Monday May 23rd. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.